What is it about Tiger that moves us? Okay, your time's up. He shouldn't move us like this. There's lots of reasons not to like him. He got very popular and very rich early. People resent that. He threatened a beloved legend, Jack. Ugh, we, we don't like that. Ask LeBron about the Michael Jordan thing. He never treated his fans warmly or particularly well. And he did some really bad things to his family. And yet most of America sat on their couch crying yesterday. Only two athletes in my life have had this power, Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. And they have certain things in common. Michael Jordan's first three titles, I was in awe of him. Never really felt connected, almost worshipped him, looked up at him. And then his father was murdered. He went and played baseball, struggled badly, came back. And now Jordan was more like family. The decade that Tiger Woods dominated golf, I was hypnotized by him, in awe of him, pumped my fist with him. But then he fell apart physically and emotionally. And yesterday, for the first time in my life, I rooted against other golfers. Yesterday, I'm not proud to admit this, I was hoping Francisco Molinari got run over by a golf cart for most of the afternoon. We shouldn't love Tiger this much, right? 90% of us don't play golf. Several books written, not complimentary of his choices. But yesterday was the greatest comeback in the history of American sports, in my opinion. Tiger had no business even being there. In a six-year period after his dominance, he tore an ACL, had a neck injury, sprained his MCL, tore his Achilles, three back surgeries, one a back fusion. Hell, that sounds like an autopsy. Tiger admitted two years ago he wasn't sure if he'd ever play golf again. His back was in such pain, he said, I can't even coach the President's Cup. Riding in a golf cart, bouncing up and down, hurts too much. I got some pushback yesterday. Colin, you said a few years ago he's a former golfer. Of course I did. Tiger admitted he wasn't sure if he'd ever play golf again. What we saw yesterday is why we loved MJ. MJ was awe-inspiring the first run, and then he suffered things that no person should have to deal with. He was humbled. Being great is really important, but being humbled is the difference between Michael Jordan and Tiger. Tiger's win didn't just say a lot about Tiger. It actually said a lot about us. We love you even more if you deal with the crap we do. If you deal with the family issues we do, if your life is imperfect, and as you're at the top of the throne, you come off it, you cry, it's sad, you struggle emotionally and physically. Yesterday, Tiger delivered so many things. Our favorite golfer won. We got a redemption slash comeback story. That's what Hollywood writes every day. Do we love those? It restoked the goat conversation. Personally, I love that. That's good for my business. And the Tiger in Red Sunday thing is the best thing to happen on Sunday since the Sopranos. And let me just add this. And I'm not blaming anybody for what I'm about to say. I'm not. I'm not taking sides here. But this country is more divided than it has ever been, uncomfortably so. And I'm in my 50s. I've lived through a lot of life. But don't ever let anybody marginalize sports in your family to you. Sports shapes us. It heals us. It empowers us. It connects us. It does what government so often promises but doesn't deliver. It turns poor into rich and broken into healed. Yesterday, sports did something else, and I can't remember. Seriously, I drove in this morning and I thought about this. I can't remember the last time in America 
We were all pulling for the same thing. Humbled, fallen, emotionally, physically, at the very bottom. What a story. Spoke as much about us as it did about Tiger. And never forget that sports does so many great things. Yesterday, finally, it connected us. Thanks, Tiger. We owe you one. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.